Good morning, everybody. Joanne Curtin, Keller Williams, Realty in Atlanta. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. Um, okay, I wanted to share uh, an email that I got on Facebook last night from a client of ours. This is act They're actually out of town. Their house is listed. They're on the market. They say we're getting traffic. Feedback we're getting from realtors is positive. They love the house, has upgrades, they love the yard. We're getting good feedback on the pricing just not the right house for these particular buyers. So what do you do? There's really kind of four things going on always with the home sale. You're either priced right with the right agent, you got a sale. That's kind of a fun one. Uh, that's easy. The other one on the other side of the spectrum is your wrong price, wrong agent. Uh, that's a tough one because you're wondering where is my showings? Where's the activity? I feel like I've been left out. Um, Clearly, that's not a good place to be. But this uh, particular client here, they're right in the middle. They're kind of in a gray area. They're between wrong price, wrong agent. I mean, they're either wrong price, right agent, or wrong agent, right price. And that's a difficult place to know where you are. So I usually go by the 10-10-10 rule. The 10-10-10 rule, um, I go through these with our properties. It's 10 days on the market. 10 showings, or you look and see if you're 10% overshot from the market. Um, and that's a great way to know where you are in that scenario, in that those two scenarios. It's the 10, 10, 10, 10 days, 10 showings, or 10% overpriced. And another interesting thing, though, is on the email, it, they're saying, um, we're raising an issue about our realtor being in a different market. So does that make a difference when your agent's in a different market? Well, if, if, if you're showing a property and the agent absolutely knows that house and why it should be the next sale that happens, um, they're going to share it with you. And they're going to let you know why it's the best house to buy, why you shouldn't see this one down the road, maybe the history about that one, what people have heard, past sales they've had in the area, and um, traffic patterns. All A lot of stuff comes into play with an expert in that market. And if that listing agent's excited, the buyer's agent's excited, and they're passing that on to the buyer. So, and the buyer's definitely not going to be excited unless their agent representing them is excited. So when everyone is excited, uh, you've got a sale and you're going to closing. So I hope that helps. Uh, email me, joanne at curtainteam.com. Thanks. Have a good Wednesday.